Let's move on to toroid. The toroid is a hollow circular ring on which a large number of turns of wire are closely owned. It can be viewed as a solenoid which has been bent into a circular shape to close on itself. The magnetic field in the open space inside point P and exterior to the toroid that point Q is zero. The field B inside the toroid is constant in magnitude for the ideal toroid of closely wound turns. The direction of the magnetic field inside is clockwise direction. As per the right hand thumb rule for circular loops. Three circular ampering loops 1, 2 and 3 are shown by dashed lines. This is 1, 2 and 3. By symmetry, the magnetic field should be tangent to each of them and constant in magnitude for a given loop. The circular areas bounded by loops 2 and 3 both cut the toroid so that each turn of the current carrying wire is cut once by the loop 2 and twice by the loop 3. Let the magnetic field along loop 1 be B1 in magnitude. So ampere circular lies L is equal to 2 pi into R1. The loop encloses no current. So IE is equal to 0. So B1 2 pi R1 is equal to mu naught into 0. That's B1 is equal to 0. The magnetic field is 0. Thus the magnetic field at point P in the open space inside the toroid is 0. And the magnetic field in Q that's also zero. So from Ampere's law, we got L equal to 2 pi into R3. R3 is not being nothing but the radius from loop 3. The current coming out from the plane of the paper is cancelled exactly by the current going out. So the enclosed current i equal to 0, so B3 is equal to 0. We shall now consider the magnetic field at S. Once again we employ L is equal to 2 pi R and I is, is for n turns is n i. So B into 2 pi R is equal to mu naught into N i. That's B equal to mu naught into N i by 2 pi R. So now let R be the average radius of the toroid and N is the N turns. The value is N equal to 2 pi into R n. Perimeter of the toroid into a number of turns per unit length and thus a B is equal to mu naught into N i. An ideal toroid of the coils are circular. In reality the turns of the toroidal coil form a helix. And there is always a small magnetic field external to the toroid. You are able to see it here.